Trump exposes what Obama did six months after death of General Kelly's son, media silent. President Donald Trump is being attacked this week, once again, for speaking the politically incorrect truth. At a press conference on Monday, he exposed what former President Barack Obama did six months after the death of General John Kelly's son. However, there's one reason the media has remained silent surrounding the whole ordeal. At a press conference in the Rose Garden on Monday, President Donald Trump was asked why he hasn't spoken publicly about the deaths of four Special Forces soldiers in Niger. If you look at President Obama and other presidents, most of them didn't make calls, a lot of them didn't make calls, I like to make calls when it's appropriate, said the president. Trump has also written letters to the four families of the soldiers who died on October 4. Trump has opted for a more personal approach when it comes to handling the deaths of American soldiers who are killed in action. Instead of releasing a business-like statement from the White House, Trump prefers to place a call to the family of the fallen soldier to offer his sincerest condolences for their loss. The same cannot be said for his predecessor, former President Barack Obama, who couldn't even be bothered to place a call to General John Kelly when his son died in Afghanistan in 2010. After calling Obama out for neglecting to call General Kelly in the wake of his son's death, Trump doubled down on his remarks in an interview with Fox News Radio on Tuesday. Asked about the uproar his comments ignited the day before, the president said, You can ask General Kelly. Did he get a call from Obama? It appears that Obama did not acknowledge the death of General Kelly's son until six months after the fact, at a breakfast for Gold Star families at the White House. According to an AP report, White House visitor records from former President Barack Obama's term show that he hosted current White House Chief of Staff John Kelly at a breakfast for Gold Star families after his son died in Afghanistan. The report goes on to state, the breakfast for relatives of U.S. troops killed in action occurred in May 2011, six months after Kelly's son died. Former aides to Obama say it's difficult this many years later to determine whether Obama called Kelly and when. Translation, the former POTUS was too busy golfing to drop a quick call to a decorated war hero after his son died defending the country POTUS was hard at work destroying. The media has remained silent on Obama's disrespect for General Kelly, except, of course, to lambaste President Trump for calling out his predecessor. One former Obama staffer, Alyssa Mastromenico, tweeted, That's a effing lie. To say President Obama, or past presidents, didn't call the family members of soldiers Kia, he's a deranged animal. Another former Obama administration official also said Trump's claim is wrong. This is a prime example of the deep-seated differences between Barack Obama and Donald Trump. One man loves and respects the men and women who risk their lives to defend our country, and one man couldn't care less about the sacrifices made by brave heroes like General Kelly's son. I think you know which is which. Please share the story and tell us what you think by clicking one of the buttons below. We want to hear your voice.